Okay, welcome to exercise 2.6, implementing cluster aware updating. This is found in lab two, configuring failover clustering. In configuring advanced Windows Server 2012 services R2, in the Microsoft official academic course in preparation for exam 70-412. In this exercise, you're going to install and enable cluster aware updating and learn why cluster aware updating is important to clusters. The approximate completion time for this is about 20 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and log into storage one. Actually, we're already logged into storage one. Close out of this. This was it from the last exercise. So I'm going to go into storage one. Okay, so I'm logged into storage one as Contoso slash administrator. We're going to go into manage and add roles and features and then next 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 and on the select features page we want to click on remote server administration tools And I'm going to go ahead and select it and then add features. We're going to expand remote server, which I already did, and expand feature administration tools. And I'm going to select failover clustering. Oops, no, I'm going to expand this. And we need to select failover cluster management tools. One, two, three, four. So we need to select all four of these. So I'm going to check this box. Okay. And then click on next. One, two, three, yeah. Next. Next. And then install. Okay, we'll go ahead and click on close. And now we are still on storage one. Now we want to go into tools, cluster aware updating. And then type in cluster one and then connect. And we're going to click on conf configure self updating options Just right here. And then click on next. And we want to add the CAU cluster role. And then 
next. This brings us to question four. By default, how often does it schedule updates for a cluster? From here, we're going to go ahead and click on next. And then next, next, apply. And now close and Let me try this again. Next, 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 next. Apply. The reason I did this again because I forgot to tell you that if you're one of my students, this is where you would take your print screen. And then we're going to go ahead and click on close. And this is the end of this video and the end of lab two.